When it comes to a close quarter encounter uh, in self-defense, there's one thing that you need to be aware of, and a lot of law enforcement have learned this, sometimes the hard way. Uh, but one of the problems with your gun, and first we're going to make sure the gun isn't loaded, so I'm going to go ahead and drop the magazine. We're going to check to make sure the gun is empty. Uh, now, I typically don't put my hand anywhere near the muzzle, but for demonstration purposes, I want to show this. If you're in a bad situation and you've got your pistol pushed up against someone, it's knocked out of battery and the gun will not fire. This is a Glock 26. It isn't loaded. There's no magazine. Uh, what we're going to do is demonstrate how this gun can be made inoperable if it's pressed. So if an attacker comes up close and you bring it here, if that gun is at all pressed, the slide, it locks just like this. I mean, it just can be a little bit, as long as it knocks it out of battery at all. Now, one thing you can do is some guns especially have a little more of a protrusion out of the front of the frame with their guide rod. If you have that, you can still fire it. So for one thing you could do is to angle the gun down, the butt of the gun down, and that'll allow for the striker to strike. So we have it here. It's not gonna activate the striker, bring it down, and we get it. Now a light that sticks out from the front of the pistol can also help with that. A compensator will not. A compensator will actually knock the gun back out of battery. It's actually sticking out just a little bit. So that is one thing to consider. Now we have a loaded Glock 26. Here, if we press it, we have a dead trigger. If we bring it up under like this, you're gonna fire. That's gonna allow the striker to fire. One thing that did concern me was once I pulled the trigger with the gun out of battery, I was afraid that it would disable it, but it doesn't, it remains cocked. Now, one other thing that you can do that's standard is put a light on your pistol. And um, here we're just going to throw in one of the Olight Valkyries. Uh, this you can lock in right here so you're still able, even with it pressed, to pull the trigger. Uh, getting that gun off of your assailant is important. Uh, the frame is okay, but when the slide in any way is just racked, you can see that the barrel drops and this is going to affect the reliability of the pistol. Honor Defense has one of their fist frames and it's a little bit of a protrusion right here to keep it from coming out. You know, and one problem is, just like with the light, it's kind of obtrusive, it's a little bit big and this is going to, you know, be there the whole time. You know, it sticks out a little bit, it can catch. Now, one thing I've been introduced to is the Glock standoff device or the GSOD. Uh, this is made by Dark Hour Defense who is the same company that makes D7 weapon systems, Joel Allen. Uh, but this is the Glock standoff device with the compensator. It does come with a very flat cutoff version uh, that's a lot more close to the gun. But with this one, I just chose to get the compensated version because I just thought it would be kind of neat. Uh, one thing is, if you put a standard compensator on a threaded barrel, it's gonna also knock the gun out of battery. There's a little screw underneath and this is on the compensated version on the one that is not compensated and i have a picture right here of it uh, it has texturing on the front here and then it has a bar that goes through for your picatinny rail with this one we have a small little plate here you can see there's a little panel and uh, this just opens up i mean v7s man they just do and of course dark hour defense they just do some really unique very high quality pieces uh, and this little plate is going to lock in to your Picatinny rail, as you see. So it gives it a really secure fit to the frame and to the accessory rail. This way, it gives it a little bit of distance between the slide front of your compensator or, on the standard version, just the plate. And so, it doesn't matter what you do, you're going to be able to fire your handgun. Now here with the GSOD attached to the Glock, gun isn't loaded no matter where it doesn't knock it out of battery so no matter where you are you're going to be able to fire the pistol now with this one it definitely comes out uh, as a compensator which just makes it kind of nice to have a compensator but it really gives you the best of both worlds in a sense now if you want to go with the flatter surface you know that is a little more compact but here again you're going to get ignition here with the GSOD attached there's no way 
that this is not going to function. So even if it's pushed up against here, you're still going to be able to fire. I think that'll take care of business. By the way, guys, this is for instructional purposes only. Don't try this. A lot of the blowback can come and can cause you damage. Make sure that if you do go against the warning, make sure you wear safety goggles and, of course, hearing protection. One thing that I do like about this over maybe a flashlight or, you know, even a, a guide rod is that you get a full surface even up to the muzzle. And then, too, as you can see, it doesn't it kind of follows the lines of the handgun. One of the big things about this piece too is it is made from 70, 75 T6 aluminum, which will give you a little bit of weight at the end of your pistol when firing, but yet it's still lightweight. So it's going to actually help with the balance. Big thanks to Freedom Munitions for supplying the 9mm ammo. Get a 5% discount using Suit00 at the Freedom Munitions website. And the Lula loader is from heaven. <laughs> wow, I mean that really does kind of tame the muzzle flip big time. And I'm not so sure that it's altogether just the weight on the end or the compensator. I mean, it's both. But uh, definitely a different feel when shooting it. Wow. pretty sweet these right now are only made for the Glock pistols I guess because it's just squared off uh, I think that these would probably fit others but that is not I mean there's no indication it is a type 3 uh, hard anodized finish uh, this one only comes in the black if you get the standard version with the plate that comes out uh, they do make that in what they call a clear version which is just aluminum so that could match, you know, if you have a nickel plated slide or something like that. Now you'll need to order the right size for either 40 caliber or 9 millimeter, and also with your G19 or your G17 and of course those models that correspond with that in 40 caliber. Uh, 22 and your 23. The GSOD or Glock standoff device uh, with the compensator runs 109. If you get the standard version, uh, the model 17 is $89 and then the model 19 runs $79 and again it has the front serrations on it I mean those are really nice in fact probably for a carry pistol I would opt for the flatter piece just because it makes the gun so much more compact but guys again the danger of placing it against someone and not being able to fire it is real and uh, it's happened over and over and this is just a great way to kind of circumvent that problem. And I want to thank Dark Hour Defense for sending the Glock standoff device for this test and evaluation. Guys, the big thing here that I want you to take away is not necessarily the Glock standoff device, but that if your slide is out of battery, if your barrel's out of battery, the gun is inoperable. And in a self-defense situation, that could be life-threatening. And so understanding that principle, whether you use something like this to attach to your gun, whether you use the guide rod and you tilt the gun up, or whether you use your flashlight, great to keep that in mind uh, if you ever have one of those up close and personal encounters. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Okay, here with the G side, here with the S set, here with the GSOD, gun is unloaded. And I want to thank, and I want to thank, not able to fire. The problem is, if you bring it down after you pull the trigger, 
going to do that. <laughs> Good gosh.